Help. 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 Oh, hey, I got you. I got you. I got you. Yo. Chipmunk? Mom? Are you okay? I'm fine. Honey, you don't sound fine. It sounds like you need some of your mama's prune cobbler. Mmm, prune cobbler, just the way my baby likes it. To keep him sweet and regular. <laughs> Mom, that's nasty, Mom. Honey, it's not nasty. I was just whipping up a good old tasty batch. Mm -hmm. When something told me, uh, Del Wayne, put down those prunes and pick up that phone. So that's what I did. Well, no, Mom, everything's fine here, really. Um, how's that? It's not about your father, honey. It's about Mr. Abraham Lincoln. You remember Mr. Abraham Lincoln? Yeah. He said you could fool some of the people some of the time, but you could never fool your mama. <laughs> now, I know what it is. It's that girlfriend, isn't it? No, Mom, Keno's fine, Mom. Sure, she is fine. She's a lucky thing. Does she realize how lucky she is? You're really gonna like Kinu, Ma. Trust me. Mm -hmm. That's what you said about Miss Thing, remember? <laughs> who? Miss Thing. Miss Girl. Miss Uppity. You know the one who sashayed in your room and thought I was the housekeeper? Although I didn't mind being called the housekeeper because some of my best friends are housekeepers. It was just the way she said it. Mom, Mom, remember? Mom, her name was Whitley and she was very sorry. Yeah, she certainly was, honey. But I've always been worried about your taste in women. Ever since you were five, you remember all those little girls used to have fits over you? Mm. You used to put on those little Jackson 5 sunglasses and run around the neighborhood and drive them all crazy. You would say, hmm, sit down, girls. I think I love you. No, stand up, girls, and show me what you can do. Shake it, baby, Mom. shake it. Shake it, baby, Mom. shake it. Mom, 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 I gotta go. I got something to do, something important, Mom. Yeah, like get your head out my underwear and your butt out my drum. <laughs> Okay, Mom, I love you. I gotta go. I love you. Keep singing, Mom. I'm hanging up. <laughs> you know, I'm trying to think of a friendly way to tell you how you look. Oh, man. I don't know what's wrong with me. I can't concentrate. I didn't sleep last night. Again? Yeah, I keep having the same nightmare. I'm in this room, and the room is a big mess. And I'm looking for something that's in the closet. But I can't find the key because the room is such a mess. And, and the room represents my life. Now the room represents your room. <laughs> and if you want to see what's in your closet... <laughs> you know, I tell you, Dwayne, ever since you kissed Whitley, you haven't been the anal retentive brother you normally are. <laughs> Don't go there, Ron. But for the last two weeks, you've been living like a ditch pig. <laughs> Exhibit A. One funky sock. Man, and I'm talking about my life, not my feet. Oh. If the shoe fits, do us all a favor and put it on, you know? And listen, man, your Phi Beta Kappa Big Shot, you got a full scholarship, a secure job future, a suave, debonair, debutely dignified uh, best friend. Yes, and not to mention a beautiful girlfriend, huh? Put eh, flag on the play. What are you talking about, Kino? Get yeah. out of here. Kino is wonderful, absolutely wonderful. Huh. And this marks the anniversary of six wonderful, absolutely wonderful months together. Yeah, just the three of us. Dwayne, honey, I thought the purpose of having an anniversary party this afternoon was to celebrate. Hey. So who invited Whitley Gilbert? Oh, sweetie, she's just a friend and we've invited everybody else. Sweetheart, there's an old Japanese expression. If you're having a picnic, don't invite the ants. <laughs> Baby, why can't you leave Whitley alone? Why can't she leave you alone? Oh! <laughs> and how I wish we could have some privacy. Oh, don't mind me. I just live here and pay half the rent. Ron, wouldn't you be happier if you went out and found yourself a girlfriend? She knew. <laughs> well, I have several. And occasionally, they go home. <laughs> Well, you could definitely use a maid. She knew. Man, I'd be having nightmares, too. <laughs>